English as a medium of instruction. Boon or Bane. Hello there! Welcome back to our series on English language and cultural understanding. Today, we're diving deep into a fascinating topic. English as a medium of instruction, EMI, in non-English speaking countries. Have you ever thought about the benefits and challenges of learning subjects like science or history in English when it's not the primary language? Let's delve in. EMI stands for English as a medium of instruction. It's a practice where academic subjects, other than the language itself, are taught in English. This is common in many countries where the first language isn't English. Examples include subjects like mathematics, science, or social studies being taught in English in a school where the dominant language might be Spanish, Hindi, or Mandarin. So, why do many schools and institutions adopt EMI? Here are some benefits. 1. Global Opportunities English is often termed the global lingua franca. By learning through EMI, students are better prepared for opportunities in international settings, whether it's for further studies or work. 2. Access to resources. A lot of academic material, especially at the higher levels, is available primarily in English. EMI gives students direct access to these resources without the need for translation. 3. Enhanced language proficiency. Continual exposure to English can significantly improve students' language skills, making them more fluent and confident. 4. Cultural integration. It can foster a deeper understanding and appreciation for diverse cultures, especially those of English-speaking countries. While EMI has its perks, it also comes with challenges. 1. Language over subject matter. Sometimes, students might focus more on understanding the language than the actual subject content. This can impede deeper learning. 2. Pressure on teachers. Not all educators are comfortable teaching in English, and this can affect the quality of instruction. 3. Identity and culture. Relying heavily on English might lead to erosion of local languages and cultures. It's crucial to strike a balance to preserve cultural identities. 4. Potential for inequities. Not all students have the same level of proficiency in English. EMI can sometimes widen the gap between those who are fluent and those who are not, leading to disparities in academic achievements. So there you have it. English as a medium of instruction offers a world of opportunities but also poses certain challenges. The key is to adopt a balanced approach, leveraging its strengths while being aware of its limitations. We hope this video shed light on the topic. Remember, every educational system is unique and should cater to the specific needs of its learners. Until next time, happy learning!